working since August um, in different areas of Sindh and Balochistan. And um, since the floods first started happening and it started to become aware in the international sphere that um, the flood is, it's, it's affecting a lot of people. And slowly, slowly, we started to find out that yes, it was a lot of people were getting affected. We started receiving phone calls for support and help. The villages where we had worked previously, their people started calling us and stuff. Um, so we started support in, in, in the emergent need is always food. because they lose their livelihood, they lose their homes, they lose everything, so they need basic stuff like food and um, water, sanitation and hygiene. And they need um, tents to cover, a roof over their head. But we started to see so many problems right in the beginning with providing tents, providing rations initially. It, the prices were exorbitantly high. Everything that we were um, finding out on the ground was very expensive. But anyway, we continued the support and then when we landed on the ground, we were hearing a lot of reports of different diseases, different um, skin disease photos coming up, which were ab abnormal. Very extreme scenarios of malnutrition. And this is before I arrived on the ground. Now that I arrived on the ground, one of the things that has become very apparent to me and was apparent in 2010 and is now apparent also is that malnutrition was a very big problem in 2010, but it's a bigger problem today. There was an elderly woman who I was seeing in the clinic and she needed her blood sugar tested because we weren't sure if her blood sugar was too high. The complaints that she was having seemed to be diabetes related. And when I finger pricked her to take her blood, she, the blood wouldn't come out because she didn't have enough blood. These are all signs of malnutrition. Mothers upon mothers complaining about not being able to breastfeed their children because they're not making milk. They're not making milk because they don't have enough food for themselves. The body doesn't have enough. The problem with malnutrition is that it's considered immunocompromised. When you are sick already, if you considered sick, if you get another disease, the disease effect is a lot larger on an unhealthy body than on a healthy body. If you want to get better, you get better. But if you're so distressed where you've lost everything, you're malnourished and you've lost everything, even the psyche is not allowing you to heal. 